Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm the Hedgehog Warrior. But together we, we are, are Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Well, well, your first time on the show, Matt. Yeah, first, first of my first time at box opening. First unboxing in your life. In my life. I've actually known this guy since I was fourteen. Best man at his wedding. <sighs> some years ago, when we were young and beautiful. But today, oh, we're going to talk about War Cry. So, for your view and entertainment, I'm going to give him a sharp blade, and he's going to open the box yeah, for you. The box. The way this video is going to work, I'm going to review the contents of this box. We're going to then play a game. So Martin's never played War Cry. Um, and then we're going to talk to him about as a game experience. Sharp blade out the way. Sharp blade out the way. Did you get it done? Did you get it done? Oh. Well, the reason I thought it was worth talking about this one is the normal War Cry starter sets, the two player sets that we've seen, retail for £110. And that is a lot of money to try a game. <coughs> However, this new one that does have cheaper components in it is only £64-65. So from a third party retailer like Whirling Games, which is where I picked this up, link down in the description, affiliate link and everything of course, this is £50, which compared to £100, that's very different, right, to try yes, a game. Yes, a lot lower. And I believe since I played Warcry, it's the best game that no one's playing. The Games Workshop does. All right. Okay. What, do we, what do we get? On top of the box, we have a book. Book of words. Uh, things with maps and cards in it. All right. Uh, so this baggy. It's nice to put it in a seal bag. This protects it from... Yep. The reason they do this protects it from all the kind of sprue and stuff in there. There's quite a bit of uh, bits in here. So we get a play mat. Do you want to open that up yeah, for that. their viewing pleasure? Uh, so that looks like it is a standard uh, kill Big team mat. size war cry board. On this side we have a frosty uh, graveyard. Frosty graveyard. Frosty graveyard. With yeah. with tombs with chains on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, to stop them escaping. And on the other side we have got uh, it's sort of green. It's it's it's, uh, it's I think a floor mat. Like ruined temple. -y thing. Ruined temples with lots of uh, mm. yeah. Yeah. Lines. Which is like with the original Kill Team. Uh, the original Warcry set came with that, I think. Right, and then you get your destructions. They're the usual Games Workshop type <laughs> colour coded tree, which bits glued to where. Nice. All your tokens. This is on good quality cardstock, so they're not skimped on that. But I think compared to the big sets, you normally get two of these. So you only get one set of tokens. Unless there's feather in the box. I don't think there is. Crypt no, of Blood. So you're not getting a full rule book. I don't know whether you're still doing the current the current big sets, but you're getting a you're getting a play out of this box rule book. But again, as a starting point, should be okay. <clears throat> then you get your unit cards. So the two, <clears throat> this is set in the Age of Sigma setting. So although it's vampire hunters and vampires, it's not vampire counts and imperial witch finders from the traditional. It's the Sigma version. So they're like the same, but with gold armor. <clears throat> um, and this is called the Crimson Corpse and your unit cards. So you're not missing anything that you would be from the from the normal start sets in terms of those cards. Uh, what do we got? Eight models in total. Let's have a look at what else we got. We have a um, Warcry poster. Ah, now these, if you don't know, man, these are box toppers. This. Oh, that's past it. always gets dinged up and it's to protect the bits above okay, from the from hard below, plastic. The hard bits below it. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, stops your tokens and things getting scratched up. Got a spray here with and a some lot. Hmm. So, oh, this is heavy, isn't it? <clears throat> it's quite heavy for a plastic sprue. This is your scenery, so this is the, where they're saving the money. All right, in your standard Warcry box, about half of it is scenery and heavy. But this is nice because it's crypts and gates and stuff, and this looks like it fits. It's in keeping with their existing gothic um, graveyard set, but it is different pieces, so they'll fit with, but they're not exactly the same. So that's nice to see. We got a bag of dice. Oh, okay. So bag of dice. <laughs> they're pretty cheap dice. Again, in the big starter sets, you get some nice. Nice dice. So you nope. certainly didn't the last one. No pictures opened. on them or any. No pictures, any nothing like that. No. You get a lot of dice because you're rolling a whole bunch of dice is a key part of the way this game works it's for initiative. We've got and then character figures. And then we have got the red. vampire dudes in red. 
And the Sigmarites in blue, is that in right? Blue, they look like Sigmar dudes. Looks like it. Yep. Yeah, these look vampiric, long hair. Do they look angelic in gold? Yeah, they're yeah. Sigmar dudes. Okay, so that's good because you can tell the two different types apart immediately from play. These are keyed. So these look like push, these are push fit models. Uh, no glue required. So at first glimpse, as a starter set, what you've not got here, you've not got a core rule book. I don't know whether they still issue those. You've got a paper mat instead of a, one of the playboards. You've got a lot less scenery and you've got eight push fit models rather than maybe 20 standard build ones. You also don't seem to have the cards for pro for procedurally generating missions. So they have cut out a lot of the components of the basic set, but you still got everything you need to learn to play and you're getting it for half price. So if you wanted to try it, I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, yeah, I think so. We're going to put this all together, play a game, and then give you a review in the second half. But so far, feeling pretty good about it. Thank you. We'll be right back. We played it. We're back. We're back. We worked our way through the booklet, played the introductory missions and then the kind of final missions. Uh, we built the miniatures. I would say the miniatures took about two hours to build. Okay, yeah. You cut up the scenery and yeah. had a read of the rules. I built the minis. The Stormcast are pretty straightforward. They're all these push fit miniatures that they started with Blackstone Fortress, where you have bits that push through into other bits and so forth. So you really have to follow the instructions. I found. I found I cut off one of the pegs by accident without realizing it was a peg. I think it was on this, on this guy because of the way his leg is. He's the, he's the hero dude. Everybody of course has stood on a tactical rock because uh, they like doing that. And I just feel somehow it's like they're showing off with what they can do with the miniatures and the poles in and the way that they can assemble them. Because this was needlessly complicated, I felt. You know, I, I made a mistake where I had to use quite a bit of glue to sort of fix it. <clears throat> Because um, they're all held in place by being push fit pegs rather than there's like, you know, there's no inside to the leg and things like that, the way that they're shaped. So they do look great once they're finished. They're very mm. dynamic. It's very vampire. It is a very stormcast vampire hunter. -y. I thought they were needlessly complicated. And it was the first of the vampires that I was asked to do. So it was just like, oh, oh right, okay. <clears throat> But I found the scenery was quite easy to put together. <laughs> the scenery was just basically just cut it out, wasn't it? <clears throat> and I think the plastic isn't the same plastic that they make the normal <clears throat> kits out of either. <clears throat> I get the feeling that this is a slightly harder, slightly more <clears throat> brittle plastic, which are a bit like what you get with the Conquest magazine and stuff and Imperium. So it's still giving you a decent result, but it doesn't <clears throat> seem quite as flexible as the normal stuff. So that's, that, that's the kind of experience of building it. Playing the game. We played through this book. It does take you through <clears throat> literally step by step. The first, I don't know, 35, 36 pages of this book. No, it's still going on. 40 pages of this <clears throat> book take you through. And they don't even let you roll a dice. Yeah. It's all set things. If you deviate slightly, you might get slightly confused. So we recommend going, basically using it as a tutorial and go and follow it through it as an example. L literally step by step. These are the dice this player rolled. This is where he moved. This is where you'll be. Um, which was, I guess, if you had literally no idea what like you myself. were doing. <laughs> no, but I mean, you played yeah. games I've played before. games before, but yeah. And, and we found ourselves, like, they've introduced this rule about counters. <clears throat> uh, about uh, um, Was it counters, they're called? Which is kind of a response <clears throat> action. And we, we couldn't really see where it came from or how it fitted in. It was only kind of when you get to the, the end of the tutorial and read the stuff at the back, you realize that there are a number of these. They just introduced mm. one of them kind yeah, of halfway one through. One, one per scenario. Yeah. Um, and so we found the tutorials incredibly boring. Yeah. Incredibly boring. They might, even when they started to let you roll dice, they play out fully the first two turns yeah, for you, literally down to the dice roll, and then say, oh, and you can play the last two. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We've illustrated the roll. Yeah. 
So when you compare that to what they do with some of the Warhammer games, where they have a really simple version of the game, this is how you move. <clears throat> and then they have a really simple version of the game, so this is how you shoot. That's mission two. This doesn't have that. This is, this is literally the, this model rolled these dice. He did not help that the, in this book, they refer constantly to them by the names that are not on the cards. Yeah, confused us. They call the vampires soul blights, and they call Xander's whatever, Xander Ray's truth seekers, they call them Stormcast. And we were getting terribly confused because yeah. we didn't know that these were called soul blight. Yeah. Right? We're like, well, where, where does it say that? I know it sounds petty. Anybody yeah. who's in the Warhammer hobby know it. probably does know what soul blight are if yeah. they're into Sigma. But I genuinely we did not <laughs> yeah. know. Get confused from time And we had to sort of stop and, and work it out by inference because we knew the soul blight weren't the stuff. <clears throat> Why did they not call them what it says on the card? Yeah. Which is the cursed brood or something? Yeah. You know, just call them what it says on the card when you yeah. refer to them in the rules. Everybody's got names. The names are used in the rules. Although we ended up going like Hammer Bro, Bow Bro. <laughs> you know, once we were Lantern free. guy, Green Lantern, Green Lantern, who's blue? Yeah, <clears throat> exactly, exactly. There is a set. There are rules at the back, and if you're a, if you're a fairly sophisticated gamer, you might well be better off just reading the rules at the back. That might have been easier. It's difficult yeah, to know. instead of taking it from here. Yeah. But it did if you had no idea how to play it, because the thing about Warcry is it is complicated. It's very different to Warhammer. There's loads of extra bits. There's tokens everywhere. Um, at no point in the mission did it explain to us about these tokens, I no. don't think. Which is about I've had my tokens. action or yeah. I've, had a, I've had a half action. <clears throat> and the weight token, we kind of had to get to the end. We didn't use our faction abilities <clears throat> or our faction <clears throat> reaction at all. No. I think we forgot that there was a reaction yeah, on yeah. the back of the card when we played. But you, you, you know, you pick that up, you know, after a few games sort of thing, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, as a plus point, as a way to teach you Warcry, it definitely works. They're nice models. <clears throat> we played the game. I thought it was alright as a game, but I like skirmish games. I like small skirmish games. What, what did you, you're not a skirmish game, but you're not more a of a board gamer. gamer. Um, you know, maybe if I play it a few more times with all the rules, you know, not just the tutorials, I might mm. get more into it. Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, you, we were still kind of struggling with things like the yeah, fashion of other Yeah, now I've picked up some of the stuff that I learned when we were finishing. That ah, yeah. if I knew that. And I think that that's one of the problems yeah. with 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 Warcry <clears throat> is there's just a lot. There's to a lot learn, there to learn, and it's not easy to pick up another no. faction. I think once you played three or four, you know, when you played ten games, you can yeah. look at another faction's <clears throat> abilities yeah. and decide which ones are good. Yeah. And are worth doing, but when you kind of at the beginning you got all these words like on a double O, I could maybe do this. Which of my characters can do that? Yeah, you know, because you don't have a kind of feel for how that all plays out, yeah. um, <clears throat> it, or how it commonly is. So I think if you wanted to know what Warcry was like, I think this is good. I I do, and yeah. it's half the price of the main set. However, the problem I have with it is if you decide you like Warcry from this set. It's all useless. These are not warbands. These are called, I think they're called Blade Guard. So they're like heroes that you can put in other yeah. warbands of the same <clears> faction. <throat> now, in some ways, that's good because at least they're not completely useless. Right? These are these are models that you can put in a different vampire vampire court, an actual full fledged faction. Same with some of the other Stormcast options. These models can go in those. But this doesn't really easily become a full warband. No. So you immediately need to go and buy a lot of things. But the big one is it doesn't have the, the mission generator deck. And by not having the mission generator deck, you don't have the replayability that's such a powerful, for me, such a great thing about Warcry. Is you, you can play Warcry and it turns out half your models don't turn up until round three. <laughs> you know, think, things like that all come from that mission deck. And you don't get the mission deck in here. And because the way scenery and mission decks work in Warcry <clears throat> is this scenery set. If it doesn't have a, a map deck, <clears throat> then it doesn't go with anything else for Warcry. Now, of course, you can homebrew stuff, yeah. but kind of a big thing about Warcry is it's the decks to determine how things are going to go. Um, but if you do want to try Warcry, 
I think it, I think it's a better way to do it than spending 110 pounds. <clears throat> yeah. What about you? Yeah, it's a tester to see if you like the system and then before investing lots of money. Yeah. And in that respect, it does the job. I hope this was a useful review for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. Thank you.